All right, let's get started. So today we're looking at metrics reporting for a Raspberry Pi cluster with Kafka hosts using Prometheus and Grafana. So in our previous demonstrations, we've had a setup similar to this. We had three Raspberry Pis installed with Unix Ubuntu running MySQL databases. We have a producer database producing insert, update and deletes. Uh, Kafka is then using, we're then using Kafka to have a streamed topic of those updates being replicated downstream to our consumer database A and consumer database B. This environment is not using MySQL replication, it is only replicating changes using the Kafka broker. So today we're going to look at monitoring with Prometheus and Grafana. So as you can see, the diagram is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, detailed. We still have our Grafana and MySQL running. MySQL still running insert, update, and delete statements. Kafka is still sending those off to our other databases in our cluster downstream. However, in this diagram, we've made it a little bit different. Uh, we've added two new processes, one called Prometheus. Prometheus is a scraping tool utility that scrapes the JMX statistics that have been published by Kafka and MySQL and the server nodes themselves. Um, it grabs those statistics from usually port 7071 and 7072, like in our setup. It sends those off to our management node. Our management node is running Prometheus as well and it's collating those statistics. And finally, we have Grafana. Grafana is an open source tool that is, allows us to graph and visualize the metrics and statistics that we're capturing so end users can look at that information. If you want to have a little bit more of a detailed look of what we're actually doing, Physically, this is what we're doing here. We've got our MySQL databases running on all these three nodes. Kafka is sending messages backwards and forwards uh, with a jar, jar library or Java library that's been loaded when Kafka got started. And that is a Java library that Prometheus uses to capture the JMX information. It then publishes it or sends it downstream to the management node that's running Prometheus. And again, Prometheus pushes that to Grafana so our end users can read that information. So here we are, we've got our, our three nodes again. We're on node one, node two, node three. We can see we've got no rows in our tables. We'll just load these transactions so that we actually have some information running through Grafana when we look at it. So I'll run some inserts into the Herb T table and then we'll have a look and see that our new inserts have been replicated downstream. We'll then update those rows. So we'll have a look again. So you can see that new has now become anxiety. We've updated the T-type and we can see the rows have been replicated downstream. Finally, we're going to delete those rows. So we should be able to see now that each of these environments will have no rows. So now it's time to look at those statistics. We've got our browser open. So we'll just load it up to one of the nodes in our cluster. We'll go to port 3000. That's, uh, we'll go to port 9090, sorry. And 9090 is our Prometheus port that Prometheus publishes its statistics. As you can see, we've got Prometheus running here. This is the interface to pr the Prometheus uh, application that's running on the uh, remote node, which is RPI302. We'll have a look at some statuses, we'll look at some targets on that node. We can see that each node is running two different job types. One's called metrics, one's called monitoring. If you want, we can drill down a little bit deeper into that particular node. This one's running on 7071, which is the JMX port that Kafka is producing the statistics on. Sometimes it takes a little while to get the information back. So this page here is basically just showing all the statistics that are currently being 
produced by that particular node. And they all have a very simple structure. They start with a parameter and then a value. So they're value pairs. Uh, we'll see why this is important in the next screen. So now we'll go to Grafana. Grafana is our administration and reporting tool. So we quickly log into Grafana. This is running on the management node, RPI 300E. Uh, when you log into Grafana, you'll first come to your home dashboard. Your dashboard basically gives you an overview of all the things that are installed and running. So in this instance, we're looking at our dashboard. We've already installed it. We've created our first data source. We've created a first dashboard and we've done some other uh, tasks as well. So quickly, just looking at Grafana, there's a few things we can configure straight off the bat. The first thing is data sources. So we go to the data sources tab. Uh, you, here's where you can add data sources. You can add different types uh, that are standard like Graphite, CloudWatch, MySQL, Influx or Postgres, etc. So today we've actually set up four Prometheus data sources, one from the management node and one for each node in our cluster connecting them to the Prometheus agent that's running on those nodes. Now we go up to the dashboards tab, we can go to the home page. In the home page it lets us have an overview of what we're doing with our dashboards. We can also manage our dashboards. We can select all and then delete all or we can create new dashboards, we can add new dashboards. If you want to add a new dashboard you can actually create your own from scratch using different templates and, and different uh, model types. Or if you want, you can actually uh, import a dashboard by selecting the import dashboard function. And that's pretty straightforward. You can either put a URL or an ID from the Grafana website for anyone who submitted a dashboard to the Grafana website repository. Or you can upload a JSON file from your local, uh, local uh, PC. Or you can just paste some JSON into here and it'll create a, a graph out of that. So let's just go back to our home dashboard again. <clears throat> Today we're looking at Kafka. So I've got a dashboard here. It's a standard one. It's a dashboard from the Grafana website that somebody has submitted. It's quite popular. It's number 721, I believe. So we'll just click on that. And it brings us into a basic overview of our cluster. So here we have, we have six graphs. At the top, we have information about our CPU, information about our JVM or Java memory usage. And we also have our percentage in time for uh, CPU usage as well. Down the bottom, I've got three graphs. Uh, they're particularly related to Kafka. So we've got messages in per topic, bytes in per topic, and then bytes out per topic. As you can see, the graph is broken up into different color segments. These names down here are actually the topics that are registered with the brokers in this cluster. So in our instance, <coughs> in the demonstration we were using, uh, with the three databases, with the producer and the consumer, the producer itself literally is Maxwell Damon, and the Maxwell Damon is running on node one, or RPI 301. So if we click on that, we should be able to see that this one is the one that's causing all the transactions, whereas all the other ones have a zero count. So that's an expected behavior because this is our actually running, currently running Maxwell Daemon. Uh, a couple of things about the graphs. If you want, you can customize the graphs. We can go and do, say for example, the CPU usage graph. You can click on edit. Once you come to edit, you get to a page that shows you the graph in live real time. <coughs> It also shows you some other tabs that you can use to change different values. If we go to the display tab, uh, we can select whether we want to stack all our results. If we unstack, this is what we can get. We get the raw value. <coughs> I personally like to use stack because it gives me a, a more of a sort of a 3D view of what's going on. And the CPU core counts uh, increase to four. Um, this sort of is mimicking a uh, aggregate of each of the counts of the CPUs on each each uh, each board. So go back to unstack. It gives you an average of the total for each different stream in the cluster. So we'll put that back to stack. Now, if we go back to metrics, we can look at down the bottom here. Uh, it has a time value. So this is it's saying it's a five-minute window that it's looking at. 
You can change it to 30 if you want to smooth out things to make it a bit more smoother. You also know in white we have this particular item here. If we take that, you'll notice that if we copy this and go back to our Prometheus monitoring page with our statistics and we do a control F in our browser and we search for it, we can actually see this is the raw value that's being produced by our Prometheus metrics agent on that node. So this is where these white values come from in any of these fields that are used in uh, computations and calculations, anything that's here that's white will come from these particular values here. So if, for example, we wanted to graph something uh, inside, we can go to here and paste our particular one that we have from Grafana. So we copy that, we paste it back in Prometheus, we then go to graph and then we can see it graphed in Prometheus. Prometheus is static graphing, it's not real time, it doesn't update. So um, that's why we use Grafana because that gives us that overview and control of the real time functionality. So in a nutshell, uh, all as, as, you, as you can see, uh, these different changes and events here, you can see in the graph where it drops suddenly and then comes back up. Same over here where it dropped and then went up. So these particular items, they are showing us that we we had a server reboot and there was no information coming through to the server. So if you want to change the periods, you can come up to the top here and click on the little hourglass. You can do all sorts of things that, that will help you to have a different overview list. So look at the last six hours, see what sort of information we've got coming back. Then we can change it to a 12 hour overview. That gives us a 12 hour overview. You can also change the refresh rate. I've got it five seconds. You can probably change that to one minute to give it a little bit more uh, time in reef during refreshes and lastly if you want to save your current configuration click on save add a note to save it with save it and the next time you log in this will be exactly what you see so that's it for today for kafka our grafana metrics reporting with prometheus uh, if you have any questions please any comments down below thank you very much